All right, so this is just a quick, quick little tip. Why do, why do I say that every time? It's not going to be quick. It's not going to be quick because I have to tell a story. The reason I have to tell a story is that the story provides context. And without the context, you might just be like, what the hell, who cares, this is stupid. So, once upon a time, there, <laughs> long ago, in the land of Steam Controller Input, this has come up several times. I'm in the configurator. I always press B for back. Like, even if I'm, you know, in here, whatever, I'm going to press back, 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 back. Now, the reason I do that, uh, people point this out all the time. Yes, I'm aware that I can be in here and I can just press the Steam Cord button, the Steam logo. Now, the reason I don't do that is that it used to introduce bugs... Well, just a visual immediate frustration is it used to, it would mess up radial menus. Like they would flicker and stutter. Now I noticed just as I was recording this that that doesn't seem to be happening right now. Because what would happen is, let's go to my radial menu. Specifically, if you were like still on this screen and then just press the chord button this wouldn't stay up. It would keep... It would, like, bam. It would do this. As if my finger wasn't holding it. So that was just a frustration. But whatever. That seems fine. But the biggest reason that I stopped pushing that Steam cord button to back out is in the old days, that would fully crash Steam. Like, you're done. <laughs> it just flat out crashed. So... I understand... It's quicker to push the cord button. I will not do that. It's just, you know, like, I'm the old grandpa who does the weird thing that I learned, <laughs> you know, from years ago, where everyone's like, why is he still doing that? Like, it, it, it's a habit. I'm not going to break that habit. So, that provides you the context of what I'm going to get into. But something I was noticing, you know, so I'm in here doing stuff. I press B, B. Uh, see that? Down in the left corner. Local chat is toggled on. That is because in my config, I have pressing B toggles uh, VoIP. And what's happening is I'm pressing back. If I'm holding it a little bit, it's still registering because it's regular press. And some of you might might see where I'm going with this. It's really, I mean, it's very simple, but I just wanted to share it. So, okay. I have done videos before where we've messed around with this big, big picture configuration. So I'm going to go into my big picture configuration. That's uh, in desktop Steam, you can get to it from settings. And in big picture mode, you can get to it from controller options or something. You can get to it from both user interfaces, uh, you just can't get into it while you're in a game, so that's why I went to my desktop shortcut. Like, from, yeah, like, while I'm in the game, it's not gonna let me do it, so. If you're in a game, you'll have to use your desktop browser, desktop client. So, alright. Really, all that is is it's super simple. Just go in. It's going to warn you. You shouldn't be changing these things. Go to back. You're going to see this. So from here, you'll want to hit select to see more options. Make it a release press. Take haptics off. That's, yeah, whatever. And from in here, I can hit back. It's not going to do anything until I let go. It's not going to do it until I let go. And it will never toggle, it'll never fire that B button. That's, it's something that I've noticed quite a bit. And I'm probably the only one, because I'm still the jackass who presses back instead of the Steam Cord button. So, this is 
probably useless. But hey, it was something that I, I'm excited about. It's cool to me, so I wanted to share it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's it. I just wanted to share that little tip. That's <laughs> something that I... I mean, that that's one of those things, like... I know... I know that's in the toolbox. I know that. I just never quite thought... Oh yeah, that, that would just be a little quality of life thing to... Fix up a problem that... I will concede is maybe only affecting me, because I'm still the goofball who presses back instead of the shortcut from the Steam Chord button. But like I said, I mean, that that is a habit that I will probably not break from, you know, having configs be completely destroyed and lost and Steam crashing on me. So, yeah, like, wasn't just a minor inconvenience, it was catastrophic failure, so... It's kind of one of those lessons that's a little hard to forget. Now that Squad is... Gold 1.0, I kind of came back into it, cleaning up my config here. Got our range. Well, yeah, that's neither here nor there, I still... Still need to test it a little bit, but yeah, that's um, that's coming, obviously. So, alright, that's all I got. I will see you around. That's the end of my story. Holy shit, that ended up being 11 minutes before I edit. I was even going to make a joke, like, this isn't a video that I'm going to try to milk for the 10 minute whatever YouTube algorithm, blah 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 blah. <laughs> and I wasn't, I just rambled that long. <sighs> well, if you have a gift, you should follow it. I'm good at one thing, and it's droning on and on, as they say. Alright. Ta-ta. Plump, juicy wieners are dipped in a thick, golden, southern-style corn batter that seals in all their freshness and flavor. If you like hot dogs, you love corn dogs. Everybody does. Try a corn dog with your favorite beverage. At the refreshment corner now. Corn dogs. <laughs>